So they have to have a split in the party first. Otherwise, how do you determine under the 10 schedule? There is a contest on who represents the political party. Who will decide? There is no contest, Malas. This is not their case. Malas, please appreciate. Till all this is happening, it is not their case that there is a political split in the political party. It is nobody's case. No, they is. say they are the Shiv Sena. Facts here, but who will then have the authority to decide who is the political party? That's right. Now you go, what you do is call a meeting of the political party. Suppose, Malas, let's forget about the 10 schedule. Let's not talk about the 10 schedule. Mulaj, I happen to be a faction in the party and I say, look, actually the majority of the party is with me. So like a requisition of meeting of the party, forget the 10 schedule. And Mulaj, after a requisition of meeting of the party, Mulaj, I take over. So I am the party. By majority, I take over. And that's nothing to do with the 10 schedule. Test in Sadiq Ali is nothing to do with this issue, Mulaj. That's not, I'm not talking of the 10 schedule now. I'm talking generally how a faction in a party can take over the party, forget the 10 schedule. Now, now let us forget that 1985 10 schedule was not there. Then also this question would arise. But this question would arise only if there is a division in the legislative party. Dehors the 10 schedule. I hope Malaz, I made myself clear. Dehors the 10 schedule, this question can arise. That people in the legislative party can say that, look, no, we don't agree with your policies. Let's call a meeting of the party, right? In that meeting, Malaz, they feel that they are a faction who are entitled, Malaz, to the symbol of the party. They do want to set up a separate party, right? They can go and say that we, the legislators, along with the organizational structure, are the party, separate party. Give us the symbol. We are the majority. Forget the 10th schedule. It can happen even now. But that can only happen if there is a split in the legislative party. Correct, Malaz? It can only happen then. Otherwise, it's a normal procedure of taking over the presidentship of the party. Sadiq Ali, the same thing happened. There was a split in the, in the legislative party and the political party. And in Sadiq Ali, they said that, look, as far as the organizational structure is concerned, on both issues, on both issues, they are entitled to, the other side is entitled to the symbol. That's fine. No issue. Here, mothers, this split should have happened on the 21st of June. There's nobody's case in the political party. Why? Because para 15 of the 10 schedule says that two, if there are two factions, and the symbols order says, if there are two factions resulting from a split in the political party, then the question of symbol will arise. Right, Malaz? It is nobody's case here. Nobody has, they say they are the Shiv Sena. Why? Because they are 40. So how does the majority in, a, in the legislative assembly become the Shiv Sena? Then Malaj, if in the Congress, in, 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 in Goa, if majority of the Congress legislators join, as they do, Malaj, I've been seeing this happen again and again, Malaj, then, then they are the Congress. You can say they are the Congress. But how can they say that? Therefore, Malaj, this has grave consequences on the polity of this country. Because now the legislative party seems to believe that it can, under the 10th schedule, proclaim itself to be the political party and throw out office bearers who are appointed by the political party in the house. Constitutionally, that cannot be countenanced. Who appoints the leader of the house? Can Malaj, Mr. Kharge on his own, or could he have said that I am the leader? I have so many MPs, so I am the leader. The newly elected speaker in an illegal, arbitrary and blatant display of malafide. And how do you know Malaj, allow this speaker to decide this matter when he's been doing these things? Your Lord says, Malaj, has great, great, um, what should I say, confidence in the constitutional office of the speaker, Malas. Great confidence. But do they discharge this confidence? But that confidence you also have when you say that that speaker had to decide a disqualification petition. Yes, correct, Malas. It will be subject to challenge. It's subject to challenge. Right. And that is not dependent on who is the speaker, Mr. Speaker. No, Malas, I'm sorry. I've, that speaker did not do anything like this, Malas. You have to now see, kindly see, look what is happening. But the constitutional authority of the speaker to decide is not based on who the speaker is on what decision well, can, can ever a, a finding of bias be reached by a constitutional court? You lordships will say no. Uh, let's put it another constitutional issue. If a constitutional authority has so conducted itself that a constitutional court comes to the con conclusion that such a constitutional authority cannot discharge the function that it is discharging because of its open bias, your lordships will say no, we let them decide. I don't know, Malad. I don't have the answer for it. No, not necessarily. In Rameshwar Prasad, with respect to a governor, governor, the yes. of this court that uh, if there is an allegation of bias, then government has to come and defend it. Well, that's exactly. 
it's possible not that the court will naturally do it but then we all are proceeding on the premise that in fact your argument has been in the first part also that so far the speaker is concerned is a constitutional part no but see what he has done he has appointed the whip he has appointed the leader of the house when what kind of confidence can we have this in this constitutional authority who without reference to the political party is doing all this do you think he can ever decide in my favor there is no way so then you have a first speaker that defines of the legislative rules gives two days notice I'm sorry. No, that is in defiance of the Malad, legislative rules. Malad, Malad, this is not this. What Malad, is all that? That your Lord Chitra Bhav. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all this is the way everybody is behaving. And that's correct. So what do we do, Malad? Your Lord Chitra then have to. Oh, there, there are two options. Think so. Either are you deep? Either you debunk the authority of the speaker, or you say. I said that on. What, I said that on day one. Malad. 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 Ultimately, irrespective of what lesser yeah. mortals decide. Ultimately, in a democracy, you you value the office of the institution. Then, then, then that twenty seventh order should if not be start. If we say if correct, then the twenty seventh order should not have been passed. Denigrating constitutional officers, including the office of a speaker, no, no, they are denigrating they themselves. So it's a it's a they are denigrating themselves. We are not denigrating. No, Mr. Sibal, there is some problem. It's a race to the bottom. There. Yes, we have. We have to start, Mullahs. Uh, <laughs> what to do? What to do? But the problem is, Malad, the problem is very serious. Therefore, therefore, it is the they are the legislators, parliamentarians who have decided upon the speaker to be the tribunal for ten schedule. It is parliamentarians' decision. Uh, I agree. Ten schedule. So therefore, court is only interpreting that. Uh, fine, Malad. Then we must go but back to twenty-seven. Take us anywhere, Mr. Sibal. The difficulty repeatedly uses at one stage. It it poses a very big problem for the court. Yes. On the one hand, if the speaker is with you, you would say that it's a constitutional authority. What's wrong with the speaker? If you have some difficulty, you would say you means not you. You would say look at the way the speakers have behaved. So therefore, for us, as long as uh, the constitution bench judgment is there, we will go by the fact I agree. that the speaker is the tribunal and he is the presiding officer for ten schedule. Right. Yes. And correct, correct. we will not go back the decision. That's the final decision so far as we are concerned. Fine. That's I mean that I I don't proceed. I don't want to uh, say anything contrary to that except that on that logic, the twenty seventh order could not have been passed. Then we come back to that. Then that's what led to what we are where we are today. And again, it's merely because one or two speakers have gone astray. Would the court be inclined to debunk the whole procedure as laid down and the tenth schedule? No, Malas. I mean, I, my intention is not that. I am just Malas telling your lordships what has been happening. So it's a conundrum. Yes, it's a conundrum. It's a constitutional conundrum. But your lordships will one day have to sort it out. Well, no, I'm sorry for another question. Every time this question is raised before the court, I would want to ask you how many times did the parliamentarians raise this question in the parliament, saying that let us actually amend the constitution, change the speaker? How many times the discussion took place in the parliament to review the conduct of the speaker? Why yes. is that question raised before the court, which is not the forum for us for consideration? How many times the, par the parties have sat down together and decided that this is not working? Yes, the, once, once the Kerala Holohan was rendered, Malads. What what would Parliament would say? Right, it only upheld the tenth schedule. It is you are making the tenth schedule. No, but as the political party in power, wherever it is, wants to use the office of the speaker to do what they are doing, the political party would never in power would never like to change it. I am not saying this person is good or that person is good. It's the institutional framework within which he functions. But is not consistent with his responsibilities as the tribunal. That's all that I am saying. And now, Malads, the election commission says they are the Shiv Sena. Now we will be further disqualified. Any meeting called if we don't attend, then when we are Malads, then it will be further problems. It's 22nd of September. A further request was made by the petitioner to the commission for deferment of proceedings by two weeks till this court decides the question as to whether proceedings before the commission should go on. And then 27 December, your lordship Malads dismissed the application. So that created another problem, Malads, because it, he. The, the the election commission decided the matter, dehors mothers these pending proceedings, and on the basis of that majority in the legislative assembly has given them the symbol. With that very majority, is subject of disqualification petition. So we have another problem, and we I we I, we went to the commission and said, 
please await the decision. The Supreme Court did not stay, it didn't stay the proceedings, but the Supreme Court did not say that you decide it on merits based on based on uh, majority in the Legislative Assembly, because those disqualification petitions are pending. But he said, no, Supreme Court has said no stay, so I will decide the entire matter. That, that, that's the other problem that happened. With I never thought your lordships meant stay of proceedings only meant that you decide this, whatever the matter is, you hear the arguments, decide uh, the, the, on, on law, on the submissions made, but they took it, the High Court also took it the same way. But we went to the High Court also. They rejected it, saying your lordships have said no stay. Therefore, the commission can decide what it likes. And I told the commission that, look, if supposing you give this symbol to them based on this majority, and ultimately they are disqualified, then what happens to the symbol? Will we get back the symbol? So, mothers, you have another problem on our hands. Well, you know, only your lordships can decide this matter. We can only place the facts before we go. You have to, you have to do something to be able to ensure that there is confidence in institutional frameworks in the system, in this country. That's my only concern. Winning or losing doesn't matter. These are political battles. They'll be won today and lost tomorrow, or lost today and won tomorrow. But the institution must go on. The people of India must have confidence in that institution, whether it's the election commission or the office of the speaker or the court. So, Malad, if I try and join any other party, Malad, I shall be disqualified. So, paragraph 3, as it then stood, operated on the assumption that there is a split in the original political party. A split in the legislative party would not be to have been a defense, even if it is more than one third. There has to be a split in the original political Correct. party. Now, how does that split happen? Because he makes a claim, before all this happens, demonstrates in the claim that a split has occurred, calls for a meeting of the original political party, has a faction, has a resolution passed, breaks away, breaks away Malaj, and then if he is one third, it's a defense. Even if he loses Malaj in, the, uh, uh, in, in capturing the party, and from the time of such split, such faction shall be deemed to be the political party to which he belongs for the purposes of subparagraph 1 of 2, and to be his original political party for the purposes of that paragraph. So the splinter group of that party can be a separate political party. He will, because he is one third in the legislature, belong to that party. Because that becomes his original political party. None of this has happened here. The quantum of the split, interestingly, was not defined in terms of numbers. So long as there is a split, the one third is in relation to the group representing the legislative, legislative party. party. Yes, yes, I agree. I agree, yeah. Mother. The party decides to make, uh, make Ajay Chaudhary the group leader. That also is communicated, Mother. Both the resolution which you read yeah. in the communications, one removing Mr. Eknath Sinde, correct, and appointing this Ajay Chaudhary, or in the where in the meeting of the legislative party. Please see. Yes, yes. Uh, they were not the decisions taken or the resolutions were passed in the party meeting. No, that doesn't happen, uh, that, that never happens. Correct. What happens? I... Uh, just for clarity of yes, yes, party. yes, certainly, sir. Both these resolutions. Yes. Where in the meeting of the legislative party? I tell your losses why. I am just, mother. I tell your losses why. Mother, what happens is, it's the legislative party that has to accept a leader. There is always a consultation with the party. The party is represented by Udav Thakre. It was not in the meeting of the party. No, it is never. It is never, mother. It is never in the. I am explaining that to you. Explaining that. Ultimately, mother, a group leader or a leader in the house has to be chosen. Right? So, what you bought the party whip and what the leader of the party does is calls the legislators and says, who would you like to be the leader? They take their view and the party takes the decision. It's not a party meeting. Your Lordship is right. It doesn't happen in, in the, like in the AICC or the DPCC. It happens Manas, with the leader, namely the chairperson, the chairperson or uh, or the prime minister Manas, acting in his capacity as uh, as, 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 the, as the head of the BJP, he will be consulted. But it's, why? Because it is the legislative members who have to accept somebody as a leader. So the decision is given by the party that this is the person who is we, we choose as the leader. Now you cannot, this is not doesn't happen in the plenary man. That's the process. Man. And I will demonstrate that. Man, that your logic is absolutely right. Because ultimately, man, that who has to work? Somebody within the legislature has to work with the leader. He, they are the ones who are concerned. So they, their views will be taken and the party will decide. Yes. So therefore, they say, okay, let Udav Thakari decide, we'll accept what you say. That's how it happens. According to you, the decision in the legislative party meeting would always be on the uh, advice of the party. Always. That's always. what you're saying. That's right, always. And it's recognized by this court, Madhav, in several decisions.
So it's, it's and, and well, this is the practice, it's the norm yeah. everywhere in every political party. Leader as well as the whip. That's right, that's right. Well, it's what happens, I mean, I just explained that also. Leadership will decide who the chief whip will be. Leadership will decide who the group leader will be. But the chief whip will decide, not, not pursuant to, chief whip will decide, carry out the instructions of the leader when matters are in the house. There, Malad, the leader doesn't come in. Chief whip will say, will go to the leader and say, look, this is the issue before the house. How do we deal with it? Leader will discuss it with the chief whip. Chief whip will communicate. That's how parliamentary democracy works.